to kick off the event again. You know, we've really made a lot of progress in five years, haven't we? How many of you were on the Solar Express uh, right after I got elected? Was there anyone that rode that train? I see that in a couple of you. So that was a really that was a really fun event. We went down to Cordial and we worked with uh, the Sam Shoreline and it's a little excursion train. And we outfitted one of the cars, uh, took out all the tables and chairs, and outfitted one of the cars with different solar vendors. Uh, so uh, a number of those are here at the, at, at the event, still in business here at Fort Bend. We took that from Cornell uh, over to Plains, Georgia, and uh, there in the elementary school, or the grade school there, uh, where President Parker went to school, we had uh, essentially uh, a seminar about solar. So, and then we got back on the train uh, after we had peanut, peanut butter ice cream, and we went back to Cordial. So that was, a, that was a, an unusual event when Georgia had maybe three or four megawatts of solar. So a lot has changed. And I really want to give credit uh, to my colleague, Commissioner McDonald. He's, uh, he's in St. Mary's today at the uh, ribbon cutting for the, um, for the uh, essentially the groundbreaking. Uh, the groundbreaking, I think is what they're calling it down there, uh, of the uh, Navy, the Navy Solar Array down there. Uh, as you, you're going to hear from Major General ACOC today about some of the contracting processes and a number of things with, with the military. So I think. I think those of you that are that are anxious to get uh, to get on some of the, uh, our DOD facilities, you're going to get a lot of answers today from General Acom. And frankly, that's been all good for Georgia. Uh, you know, getting the the Fort Ben, my mom was born at Fort Benning, so uh, that project and and down at Fort Stewart, where my grandfather used to work, and I hunted and fished as a boy. That project is good, and of course, in, in, in Fort Worth and in. in the marine base, so all of that really helps Georgia be more rat proof, and we've just said this over and over at the commission. Um, not that it, not that it makes those bases set for life, but it lets that base commander be able to check that box that hey, we've got some renewable energy right here on the property. So um, you know, frankly, I just can't imagine. I was in, and I was in, I was in one of Saturday speaking, and I just can't. Imagine one of those towns like Warner Robins is losing that base, or high school losing Fort Stewart, or, and you imagine, God forbid, Columbus losing Fort Benning, it would be devastating. Uh, and we just need to do all that we can. And so the Commission has uh, played a role with that. But Commissioner McDonald, and, uh, and in politics, loyalty is very important, and remembering is very important. Politicians remember things. Uh, and I hope you never forget, I hope you never forget uh, all the chips that Commissioner McConnell cashed in in 2013 to really accelerate the solar in the state. Uh, because he did. It was, it was his political muscle, uh, and I said this at the environmental conference, it was his political muscle that uh, moved solar forward. Uh, and there, it, it, it's, uh, yes, he had help. Uh, yeah, he needed three votes. Yes, he had that. That was important, but it was him. And you have to have a leader. You have to have somebody that's willing to step up and really, uh, and, and really make a substantial sacrifice uh, and, and be dogged. Uh, and in this case, it's Commissioner McDonald. So uh, please continue to, to thank him for his support. It's real good. Well, I'm gonna, I've got a microphone here in an effort to wake you up uh, before General Acock comes up here. And, and Stephanie, um, my good friend Stephanie Benville, before that, I'll answer a few questions if you've got, if you've got a question or two um, before, uh, before Stephanie comes up. Does Stephanie hear that? Um, so I'll keep talking until she gets here, I guess. If, any, anyone have a question about, um, you know, like, you know, Commissioner Apple, what happens to solar if you lose your election in the next year? Uh, you know, does solar, Commissioner Apple, do you think solar will move forward in Georgia if you lose your election, or do you think it's going to move back? Do you think electric cars are going to move forward, Commissioner Apple, or do you think they're going to move back? I'll let you figure that out. So, uh, any questions? No questions. 
this morning. Well, we've got, um, we've got an IRP coming, uh, Integrated Resource Plan, as you know, that was instituted in 1991 after Plan Global Unit 1 and 2 were built. And uh, we don't know exactly what George Power is going to come forward with, but they're going to come forward with a, with basically uh, a plan.